Hello. So today I am going about doing some more fit adjustments to my transitional stays. The fit was pretty good, but not exactly what I wanted. I need them to be more supportive. And so, yeah, I'm going to add some more boning. I think I'm going to, well, first thing I'm doing, I've already pinned it. I'm gonna take a little bit more out of the back and see where that gets me fit wise. And then after that, I'm going to most likely add a little, add some boning here under the cup to help that have a little more support. And then I don't want, uh, I'm, thinking that maybe the cups are a little too small. It, it seems counterintuitive because they're, we're not supporting at all. So I thought maybe are they too big? Do they need to be cinched in more? But the first thing I'm going to do before I take commit to taking the cups out, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The lining is sewn over over the cups, over the seam allowance, uh, and I hand sewed that and I can take that out fairly easily, easier than machine sewing. And, but before I commit to doing that, I am going to make some little crescent shaped pads to put in the cups to give some place for my breasts to sit on <laughs> because yeah I mean I don't have a gra gravity is not my friend <laughs> at the moment <laughs> I don't need an amazing amount of support like I would if my breasts were heavier but <laughs> they do need help staying up so so I'm gonna try that first but first before that, before I deal with the chest, I'm going to take, take some out of the back and I'm going to add some boning. I'm going to add some boning, I already said under the, under the cups here, but then I'm also going to add some more at the side. I'm going to add another bone. So just put this on briefly. So I am I'm gonna add, you can't see that. I'm gonna add a bone on this side here. And I think maybe one right here to kind of to, to give me a little more support. So off we go. I basted the back adjustments before sewing it down with the machine. A quick try on with the back adjusted. They are already looking better and sitting tighter under my breasts. I added the new twill tape boning channels on the inside on top of the lining because lazy. I measured around the cups and drew out a crescent shape for my bust pads. 
I cut them out and sewed them on the machine. Next, I turned out the bust pads and stuffed them with scrap fabric cabbage. I sewed the pads shut by hand with a whip stitch. Next, I pinned the crescent pads in place and sewed them to the lining by hand. They seemed a little large, but we'll decompress some with time. My next step was inserting the new boning pieces, out of frame, and with help from Hercules. I couldn't find my chemise, so my bodiced petticoat stood in. The cups needed to be gathered in more by the drawstrings at the top. They feel so much better and more supportive now. The tabs want to flip up, but that's because they hit at my largest area under my bust. With my bodiced petticoat over the tabs and a dress on top of it, it shouldn't be an issue. I'm very happy I took the time to make these adjustments. I'm excited to wear them more, and I feel comfortable and supported in these. What do you all think of the new fit? Would you try transitional stays? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye! <clears throat> I'm gonna take... why can't I talk today?